Hello, Beth the Builder here. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to tear up some of this carpet and see what's underneath. Okay, so this is our bedroom and it's on our main floor. So I'm pretty sure due to some places that I can see the actual original hardwood floor, I'm pretty sure there's hardwood floor under this weird carpet that they put in. So in other places in my house, I can see the original hardwood floor on the main floor and I'm pretty sure that's what's underneath here too. So the, the trim, there's actually a bottom trim that you can see that's covered with carpet. I'm thinking they put a really thick pad down and then carpet on top of it because the doors kind of open really tight in some places in um, this room and then the other bedroom on the main floor. So let's find out what's underneath Beth's carpet. Okay, so you can see right here, this is the lower trim for the baseboards um, and it is covered with carpet. And I'm starting in my closet just to see what's underneath here because it's not, um, it's not tacked down very well. So I think it's gonna be really easy to just pull up and kind of see what's underneath and then be able to put it back if I need to. Right so far, there's a super thick pad underneath here. Oh my God, look at this. I was right, there is a really, th there are two really thick pads underneath here. Okay, and then look, this is about like an inch and a half, friggin' hardwood floors. Isn't that ridiculous? Why would you do this? I don't understand. That's beautiful. Ugh, people are insane what they do in old houses as supposed fixes. This is wild. I can't believe that they would cover up these freaking hardwood floors. I can't believe it. This is insane. So this black pad underneath kind of seems like slightly stuck down, but it's just like peeling up with like just a, just a chisel. So Beth the Builder's next project unveil all the hardwood in her house damn that's insane that they have done this to me <laughs> also please enjoy this very vintage wallpaper in my closet so part of my inspiration for um pulling up this carpet is that this carpet in here was probably like some of the most disgusting in our house when we moved in um like it was like covered in mud or something. I don't even want to think about it. So we spend a lot of time like carpet cleaning it. And I think part of the problem is that there's there's two heavy pads underneath the carpet. So if it's like dirty at all, like, or if anything gets soaked into it, like it's just gonna be saturated forever. <laughs> so also this is pretty cheap carpet. Like it doesn't seem like fancy or anything like that. And then yeah, as soon as it gets friggin' dirty, like it's just, Okay, I just want to check um, a area that potentially got more traffic to see what the hardwood looks like under there. So I have cut into this and we're going to see what that looks like.
Okay, it's legit baffling my mind why someone would cover this up with nasty carpet and carpet pads. There has to be something I'm missing. Also, but maybe not, because this house is full of mysteries where I'm like, why would you cover that up, you stupid idiots? That's amazing. Great find. Mystery solved. Okay, so, um, obviously I am not a professional. Don't necessarily take my word for just tearing carpet up and revealing what's over underneath because maybe it could be terrible, I don't know. I was very confident that there was hardwood underneath our bedroom. Um, I know in our living room there's hardwood because the, the fake wood that's on top of it literally just pops up and I can see the hardwood as well as there's a reconfiguration of a closet in our stairs and there's hardwood there too. So it all led me to believe that our bedroom and then the office next to it has hardwood underneath it and the carpet was just like the new hip thing to do and that's why they did that. Not necessarily because the wood was bad underneath but just um, yeah as a trend. Carpet is generally warmer and our house especially that bedroom actually has two outside walls so it does tend to be a little bit chillier so carpet is warmer. So, you know, there are reasons to put carpet down even when you're covering something as amazing as original hardwood floors. So I understand why you would put carpet down when there's hardwood underneath. You know, some people don't like hardwood. I'm not one of those people. I mean, I also like carpet, but I don't want dirty carpet in my house. So, but yeah, I'm not a professional, so don't comment about it. Like whatever the f you have to say about it, I don't care, okay? I'm not a professional. I am trying to encourage people to um, try and do it themselves and figure out a better solution in their homes. So yeah, uncover that carpet, reveal that hardwood, tear out that tile, get it, figure out what's underneath your floors because it's satisfying as f And you might be really surprised with like how simple it is or you know, it might bite you in the ass that it's actually really difficult. So, but you can always come up with a solution. You can always call somebody to help, to help remove it or to fix the problem, whatever, you know, there's lots of solutions. So I'm going to do this all myself. I'm going to tear out. Eventually I will get to all the hardwood that is in my house. I know there are at least four rooms on my main floor that have hardwood underneath them. Hallway, two bedrooms, living room, maybe the kitchen. The kitchen's more of a gamble because there's like five layers of tiles on there. So I'm not really sure, but go do get it. Like subscribe, leave me a comment about your dumb flooring that you found in your house. Check out my Etsy shop. It's link is in the description below. It's still very new and any traffic I can get to that would be very, very appreciated. Um, go and follow me all the other places that are linked below and thanks for watching.